So welcome back, uh, Level 3 NCEA Physicists, continuing on with mechanics, and in particular today we're looking at simple harmonic motion. Okay, so as a warm-up, uh, think about this bobble head. How would you describe um, the, the motion of a bobble head doll? Okay, so you consider it as being a continuous motion, back and forth, um, possibly slightly unsettling, um, quite fast in terms of its motion back and forth, um, and I guess another term you could use for that back and forth motion would be oscillating. Okay, so you've got um, uh, basically the bobble head in the center and it's oscillating back and forth uh, from that position. So consider this then. So if you have a mass at the end of a spring and it's going up and down, um, that could also be considered an oscillation. Okay, and it's uniform. Um, it's a maximum amplitude and a minimum amplitude, and the time it takes for that oscillation is also um, uniform. So Hooke's law uh, can also therefore be applied in using it as a simple harmonic uh, motion system, okay, because you've basically got a reference point you start off with, and it's moving oscillating uh, due to uh, unbalanced forces. So Hooke's law, the restoring force, capital F, is given as a, um, a negative uh, constant, times um, a, the change um, from, or displacement from a certain position, uh, zero. Okay, it can be either a positive displacement, or change in displacement, or a negative change in displacement. Okay, and obviously because we're working in a gravitational field, uh, you're looking at the acceleration, can also therefore be negative or, or positive as well. And that acceleration, um, is going to be the force um, of the uh, spring, I guess that restoring force, divided by the mass. Okay, so uh, that'll be dependent. So basically the displacement will be dependent on both the strength, uh, spring strength um, and the mass that is being held by that um, spring. So why do you get a, a negative sign um, for this displacement? Um, so acceleration essentially is proportional to the opposite of the displacement. Okay, so as you're you're going up, uh, you've got plus x plus displacement. That's going to be a, a negative uh, acceleration um, because the acceleration is going to be proportional to the negative of the displacement. And as you go down, that will be a negative displacement, negative x. So therefore, the acceleration um, will be uh, positive as it goes down from its reference point at the beginning. So in terms of where things are the greatest, okay, so at point C, um, that's the greatest displacement um, from the um, initial conditions. Uh, the velocity will be at zero, because it goes up, zero, starts to go down again, starts to accelerate. Um, and the acceleration will also be a maximum um, at top, at point C. At point B, displacement zero. Okay, so right back to where you began. Uh, the velocity will be a maximum this time as you're going through that um, that point. Okay, uh, and the acceleration will also be zero at that point. Um, <clears throat> and the displacement at the bottom will also be the maximum. Um, this time, of course, it will be um, negative displacement. Uh, velocity will be zero again, that's just going down, okay, then the, um, the zero um, displacement at the bottom, the velocity is going to be zero, or maximum, sorry, maximum displacement at the bottom, uh, zero velocity at the bottom, okay, it just starts again, it begins to accelerate back up again, uh, and the acceleration uh, will be a, a positive um, acceleration, maximum positive acceleration. So therefore, you can plot uh, the following um, graphs for displacement versus time, uh, the corresponding graphs for velocity versus time, as you can see there, and the corresponding um, graphs for the acceleration uh, versus time as you go on as well. And we'll look at those more uh, when we start looking at the equations of simple harmonic motion uh, in the next lesson. So keep those graphs in mind. Okay, so in terms of um, velocity displacement, 
um, then you have, uh, again, the maximal velocity um, is at 0 0.0 in terms of displacement. The minimum velocity is at the maximum displacement, um, point C, I guess you'd call that on the example we had. Uh, the minimum velocity uh, will also be uh, when displacement is 0. And also at point A, uh, the ma maximum negative displacement will also be when velocity is zero. Okay, and in terms of acceleration, we have point A, which has the uh, maximum positive acceleration but negative displacement. Point B is right in the middle. Okay, so uh, zero displacement, zero acceleration. And point C is going to be um, maximum negative acceleration and maximum positive displacement. So those, those graphs will look like. Okay, so in terms of the properties of SHM, we have the period. So what is it? It's a time for one complete cycle. The uh, units are, or well, the symbol, sorry, is capital T, and it's units of seconds. Then we have frequency, which is the number of cycles per second. Symbol is F, and you may have heard it already. Its um, units are hertz which you might have seen possibly um, with radio or television. Um, and the period is 1 over the frequency, okay? That's an important equation to remember, okay? And finally, in terms of kinetic energy, the total energy of the system will be a combination of the potential energy um, and the kinetic energy. But we'll explore um, the energy for SHM in more detail in later lessons.